Hi, I'm Alistair, and today I'm going to show you how ZStocks can improve your collections management processes. So first, simply navigate to issued reminders. Now, please let me draw your attention to this area that I'm indicating with my cursor. This is the ZStocks fact box. This keeps a record of any incoming or outgoing documents. So files recorded against the document using ZStocks or outgoing documents sent out via ZStocks delivery, allowing you to easily view all documentation related to this record. To send out a batch of issued reminders, simply click on the ZStocks send button, then select the documents you wish to send out. ZStocks will now prepare a batch of reminders with personalized emails to be sent to your customers and will also apply any specific rules that you set up for those customers. Drawing your attention once again, this time to the template area, we'll notice that different templates have been selected per customer. Based on the length of time of, a, of an unpaid invoice, ZTDocs has automatically worked out and selected which template to send to each individual customer for each of the reminders in the list. These templates and rules can be configured very, very easily. ZTDocs will now send out the personalized batch of reminders along with the emails. And we can now see some of those coming through. If we re review this reminder email, we can see that this payment is slightly overdue. The wording of the email is relatively soft and is just reminding the customer that the balance is overdue. Attached to the email as well, we can see all the supporting invoices and documentation that has been automatically and dynamically attached by ZStocks to the email. If we look at one of the final reminders from the batch, we can see a much firmer email body, as well as the reminder itself having a final demand watermark on it. Clicking on one of the attached invoices, we can see the invoice, again with the stationary being applied, as well as a copy watermark being applied as well. From these reminders, we have now received an email from one of our customers apologizing for the delays in payment, and we now want to record that email against the relevant reminder. So we simply need to drag and drop the email into the ZStocks fact box that I mentioned a little bit earlier in the demonstration. And just to reiterate, this can be done with any record within Business Central, and any file type can also be archived as well. So we simply drop the email into the fact box, and it will now be archived to SharePoint. If you want to view any of the documents you've archived, you can either view them from the fact box here within Business Central, or you can search the SharePoint archive, showcased here in a three-tier folder structure for quick and easy retrieval. Thank you very much.